Thank you guys. Thank you guys for joining us this morning. We're so excited to have you here at our Sunday morning service. Come on here at Seattle Revival Center. Let's give it up one more time for the band. So good. So good. So good. Hey, thanks for tuning in with us. My name is Anthony Revisto. I'm one of the pastors here. You may uh, have noticed that Pastor Darren's uh, going to uh, be empowering me to do a service today. It's going to be awesome. It's going to be incredible. It's going to be huge. That's right. (laughs) Get ready. So, hey, so excited. Uh, Why don't you guys go ahead and share this broadcast right now. Feel free to like, um, put in the fire emojis to let us know that you shared We're so excited that you joined us this morning. We'd love it if you would share it with uh, your friends and family so they can join us as well. It's going to be an awesome service this morning. It's been a crazy week. Lots of stuff happening uh, around the world. You know, we found this story uh, about a deer in Mumbai running from a jaguar. That's right. We can't make this stuff up. Running from a jaguar, it falls through a roof into the living room of a house. Did you hear about this, Pastor Corey? (laughs) I know. Funnier thing about it, moments later, a jolly fat man in a red suit showed up with a mind eraser pen, zapped everyone's memory and said, this deer was running from a leopard, fell through your roof, and you live in India. That's right. Yeah, Blitzen has now been rejoined with the other reindeer, and Christmas is still on schedule. (laughs) Also in the news this week, a Boston police officer uses a mating call to capture escaped peacock. Did you hear about this, Pastor Corey? (laughs) I know, right? Yeah. So when the police officer was later asked how he knew how to do a peacock mating call, he responded with, how do you think I landed my wife? (laughs) (laughs) Woo! (laughs) (laughs) Woo! (laughs) Hey, uh, another crazy story this week, a bull attempting to alleviate an itchy bum using a utility pole ended up knocking out the electricity for more than 700 homes in a Scottish town. Did you, did you hear about this, Pastor Corey? I did, man. I'm glad that doesn't happen with all the scratching going on in my house. <laughs> oh. All right. <laughs> Thanks for that. <laughs> yeah, it's true. I know. <laughs> Wow. (laughs) That Scottish bull really killed the power. (laughs) (laughs) Good one. All right. Awesome. (laughs) (laughs) Woo! (laughs) Another crazy story uh, in the news this week. The NFL, the National Football League, yeah considers helmet face masks with surgical N95 material. Did you you hear about this, Pastor Corey? (laughs) Yeah, that's right. In addition to this, they will begin to utilize laser guns and small body-mounted sensors for virtual tackles. (laughs) 
Another oh. uh, interesting story this week. A Roman Catholic priest in Detroit has uh, taken a different approach to social distancing. That's right. He's gotten himself some squirt guns and some holy water and a face mask, and he's taken to the streets. Did you hear about this, Pastor Corey? I did, man. <laughs> oh, <laughs> come on. Yeah, and here at Seattle Revival Center, we've been so inspired by this priest that we actually have a new way that we're considering doing communion. <laughs> Awesome, awesome. Well, hey, uh, we should probably pray. Uh, It's going to be a great service today. Father, we just thank you so much for your love for us. We thank you for your joy. And we thank you, Mm -hmm. Lord, for all that you have planned today for each and every person that's watching and those that are watching on replay. We just just pray, God, that you would uh, tangibly be felt in their presence right now, Lord, that they would just encounter your presence. We love you, God, and we Mm -hmm. thank you for this day. In Jesus' name, everybody said. Amen.